Welcome to another episode of Porting with Ports. Today we'll be talking about how to generate the code needed for a new board and the meaning behind each file and their contents. This guide assumes you know how to set up your dev environment, you've already cloned the QMK firmware repo, and you have a general understanding of how to use the Git source control system. I'm working on macOS, but the process should be the same using your favorite Linux distro or msys2. Let's start by generating the necessary files so that you don't have to write them all by hand. In the util directory, there is a script named new underscore keyboard. Execute it by typing in dot slash new underscore keyboard dot sh and follow the on-screen prompts. Keyboard name is completely up to you. This will create a directory with the name you specified in qmk underscore firmware slash keyboards. Keyboard type gives you the option of either PS2 AVRGB or AVR. PS2 AVRGB is used when converting a native bootmapper client board or anything that uses an Atmega32A microcontroller. AVR is used when porting over a board that uses Atmega32U4. For now, we will just execute its defaults for an Atmega32U4 microcontroller. When you press enter, you're given the option to type in the name you want to appear in all the copyright notices. By default, it extracts what you have defined in your git config file. I like all lowercase mechmerlin to appear in my commit messages, but I like two capital M's in the copyright notices. While you can actually just copy and paste any of the existing keyboard directories, I would strongly recommend using the process I just described. At this point in time, there are over 600 boards supported by QMK. While contributors are actively updating code to adhere to QMK standards, some boards may use conventions from long, long ago. Please use the auto-generation scripts as they give the most up-to-date QMK file structure and coding conventions. I will now be giving a quick explanation of what each file is used for. Readme.md this file is used to just give a brief description of what the board is, how to get it, and who is maintaining the QMK port. Additional instructions are sometimes provided when certain configurations or a complicated reset procedure is needed. Config.h This file contains all the pins used and the size of the electrical matrix. In here you will also find what pins drive backlight and RGB underglow LEDs. Rules.mk This file contains QMK features that you can turn on or off. These features include such things like RGB underglow, backlight, or even boot magic. Keyboard.h, or in this case, test.h. This file is where you define the layout macro, which contains the electrical matrix and the physical layout of the board. It is ideal to create a separate layout macro per physical layout of the board. Keyboard.c, or in this case, test.c. This is typically where custom features go, such as indicator LEDs or some fancy RGB patterns. Info.json. This file is used exclusively by the QMK configurator and is basically a modified KLE raw file tied to each layout macro specified in your keyboard.h file. The keymap directory contains keymaps separated by user or by function. In this initial case, we only have a default key map. Please stay tuned for my next video where I elaborate more into how to modify these files to suit your specific keyboard. Thank you for watching.